What up guys, welcome to Inspire to Cook. Who doesn't like themselves some good, fresh, cold watermelons, especially on a hot summer day? But today I'm going to show you a super impressive way to serve a watermelon. I'm going to show you how to make a watermelon cake. Let's do it. The best part about this cake, it doesn't require any baking, it doesn't require any skills, and even a child can do it. Of course, as a base, you're going to need a nice round watermelon, as well as some fruits for the toppings. I'm using some strawberries, some kiwis and blueberries, and we're gonna use the Cool Whip for the cream. There are different ways to make it. I'm actually gonna use a special cake shaping thing, but you don't have to as you can actually even it out with the cream. The first step is, huh, I go ahead and take the top watermelon off. When you cut this part off, you wanna make sure it's about the size of this round thing. Again, you don't have to use the round thing, but if you are, you wanna make sure of that. And then we're gonna flip the watermelon over and that's gonna be our base. And we're gonna take off the top just about as much. Make sure you are safe when cutting a watermelon and holding your hand right on top of it instead of on the side so you're not cutting your fingers with it. If you're not using the round thing, you can actually just start cutting the sides off just like that. Since I am using the round thing, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in so I see where the shape is, just like that. And then I'm gonna start cutting the sides off. This is how it's gonna look, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my round thing. It's gonna be much easier now that the borders are gone. Once it's in, I'm gonna go ahead and cut more of the watermelon. And you can eat the leftovers. And then we're gonna push it in even more. As level as we can. And cut off the bottom portions. Look how beautiful it looks already. And now we're about to put some Cool Whip on it. You wanna make sure and taste it out and make sure it's good. Pretty good. The way we're gonna apply the Cool Whip is we're basically gonna grab some and you can do it with a knife or a special and you wanna make sure the watermelon is wiped up with a napkin and we're gonna do it from the bottom to the top, just like that. And we're gonna go all the way around it. And we're gonna put it on the base and we're gonna try not touch the corners because they already look beautiful. So we're gonna just apply it next to the corners. Our base is ready, now we're gonna set it aside and cut up the fruits. I'm gonna start with blueberries and I'm gonna put them right at the base so it separates it and looks very beautiful. So I'm gonna improvise with the decoration and I'm gonna cut the strawberries, not all the way through. This is gonna be our centerpiece, just like that. You'll see why we're gonna need to do that. And we're gonna spread it just like that and put it as a centerpiece. Look how beautiful it looks. The other strawberries I'm actually gonna cut in eight pieces since mine are pretty large. And I'm gonna cut it in half first and get rid of the green ears and uh, cut it in half again and again in half. Again, improvise, but I'm actually gonna take my eight pieces of strawberries and stick them in just like that all the way around. Gonna just like I'm cutting a cake and here as well in between, look how beautiful it looks. And in between, we're gonna put, put blueberries. I'm gonna put one and two. You can put any pattern that you like. And I'm gonna slice my kiwis pretty thin and I'm gonna make cubes, small cubes out of them by making stripes first. And then cut them as a checkerboard, just like that. And we're gonna sprinkle them around the center piece. Ta-da! Does it just look amazing? Look at that. And I didn't have to bake anything. I didn't have to even whip anything. I just cut a few fruits and uh, put the cream on, that's all. And the taste is gonna be amazing, I know that. So I'm gonna make a small incision. I'm really hesitant to ruin this beauty or to start cutting this beauty, but I have to, let's do it. Check this out. Your friends are gonna be so impressed with that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in comments below what you think. And I'll see you next time. I'm off to eat it.